So, man, yeah, the gold fields. Just um, thought I'd give you a bit of an idea of some of the things to look for. Now you can see I'm in a creek bed and the surface of the ground is quite high up there. And if you look down through the creek bed, you can see there's all this gravel and so on and clay and dirt. Now, detecting up the top there is pretty pointless because gold will sink down through all this clay and this is what you get when you get a deep lead. What you need to look for near the surface if you want to detect in our app it varies from place to place but um, in our app this is conglomerate it's an ancient riverbed that's been set down in the past but you can see it's quite deep so here in this particular spot the old timers trying to get down to that bedrock and the clay around that because that's where the gold was deposited in ancient times this is truly an alluvial gold field here I don't think there's any actual reef gold shedding off reefs all the gold here is old in this particular field just came out of that gully um, now we have the upper surface of the hills up there and it looks like the old timers have dug down and got to this bedrock this conglomerate rock here you can see it's cemented together also there's quite smooth rounded quartz it's not angular it's um, obviously been washed over time you could wave a detector over here you might find some gold but you wouldn't wave one up the top of that hill unless you could see this rock because you'd know the gold was quite deep so there's some diggings just there and you can see that rock cemented rock that's been thrown out of that hole and come down this slope so all this is mullock heap so dirt that's come out of the hole you could run your detector over there to see if any gold had come out of the hole there's some holes the gold is quite deep that's about two meters and probably deeper it might have um, caved in over time the um, old timers have got all the gravel out of the bottom and dumped it up the top here and taken it away for processing as well as I said you can detect around this, these heaps and there might have been a bit of gold thrown out um, it's another big hole but you can see how deep oh, there's just another example of conglomerate rock this one's been looks like it's been um, cemented with a bit of white clay and a bit of red clay so that's a good sign um, but of course it's come out of the deep holes you can see how deep the holes are Once. Okay. Well, you can see 
You might not be able to see the bottom of it on the camera, but that's uh, probably three and a half meters steep. Looks like there's a drive off to the side of it, so they've gone down the shaft and then dug into the side and followed it under the ground a bit. So they've got down to the heavy rock. You can see the creek bed over there, which, funnily enough, is running at the same depth as the bottom of that hole. So it's um, quite feasible to believe then that there's a massive chunk of bedrock at that depth running along underneath the ground. Over there, there's a creek bed you can detect in the creek bed. Only problem is is that all the rubbish from over time gets washed into the creek bed and you're constantly picking up nails and bits of corrugated iron and things so it's just dependent on where you where you are um, and how much of a clean out it's had. That hill up there if you can imagine an ancient gravel bed in a river, that would be um, where the gravel bed has been deposited. So on top of that hill, technically, we should find that conglomerate rock quite close to the surface because that's the top of the ancient gravel bed. Over time, when the water slowed, the lighter material such as the clay has been deposited on top of the bedrock down here but because that's the top of the ancient gravel bed the uh, rock should be exposed so up the top of the hill um, there are the odd bits of that conglomerate rock that um, I showed you down in the creek bed but um, it's also been exposed over time so it's eroding away and it's forming big trails of gravel which you can see there. The old time I come up here and dug a few holes, found that the gravel's not very far underneath and then what they've done is they've taken out this whole area of topsoil in what's called surfacing so they've gone down this slope followed it down this slope um, and they've found gold quite abundantly along this slope so they've given up as it started to get too deep or peter out and then they've gone beyond that and started to deep dig those deeper holes so a lot of effort takes, a lot of effort, sorry, is expended in clearing an area like this, so they'd only do it once. They were sort of onto some good gold. So, if you were to detect either side of this area, you'd probably find some good gold if it's still there because surfacing means the gold was quite abundant and they've given up once it's not as abundant but that's not to say that the odd nugget still doesn't lie on either side they followed the richest part but the other or the uh, outer sides of it will still have some gold if it hasn't already been detected of course the other thing of course we you do is go over this um, surfaced area because there's bound to be tiny bits of gold that they've missed but also you might find pockets or areas that are a bit deeper than the original rock and um, 
Ima Fangaudine.